Hey guys, so um been a while since I've done one of these, so I'll try to keep it brief. I'll try not to ramble too, too hard. Um, I've noticed there's a lot of people bodybuilding, which is cool. That's really good to get into, good fun. Um, but I think they're taking some aspects uh, incorrectly, particularly as a beginner getting into weights in general. So a lot of people are seeing uh, on YouTube, your favorite influencers, your bodybuilders, whatever, they're prepping for their competition. You know, these are top level athletes training to failure on sets and exhausting the muscles. Uh, we need to keep in mind you're not them. And I say this, it sounds very uh, obvious, but I say this in the sense that you don't have their training history. You could have trained in high school before and then had an injury and stopped and then come back again for another couple months and then stopped and come in and out frequent like every now and then for a couple months. Uh, so maybe you've been visiting a gym for six years but consistently you've maybe only trained for say six months. Um, essentially you're still a beginner so you know maybe what you're doing but in terms of actual body status you are absolutely still a beginner. You probably don't need to do half the stuff you're doing. So I was having a friend with his program um, and there was in essence a lot of variations which isn't necessarily bad to do a lot of variations to build muscle but again as a beginner and even intermediate you probably don't need to so now in an extreme sense obviously I power lift which is more one rep max or more extreme strength focused um, but even still uh, to perform those heavy lifts I need to do a lot of muscle building to get the base strength required I guess and peak from there to be able to do the single uh, and even I don't do that many variations I only do about three or four exercises a workout at most um, and obviously I'm probably bigger than 95% of you um, granted you know there's obviously I'm not quite as lean as you but the general fact is I have more muscle than you and I don't do as much variations as you do um, you know and there's genetics to this but even still the main point is you probably don't need to do as much as you're doing to get a good result uh, and particularly if you're not using performance enhancers so this is a different subject altogether but keep in mind your favorite influencers and fitness models and bodybuilders if they're a professional they are probably going to be using something to help them perform better right um, it's not a bad thing necessarily however keep in mind what they're doing they can recover from possibly because of these um, and their life literally revolves around it that is their income whereas you who might be working a, a eight to seven shift uh, your life doesn't revolve around it right you have other aspects your sleep quality is probably not as good as theirs because you've got other stresses going on um, so you don't need to work the same as them uh, to get a result and again particularly as a beginner as a beginner you just need to stimulate uh, and as you stimulate you will grow the muscle and progressively load up from there um, so yeah you don't you don't have to do so many variations to target different angles of it pick one do it well and then pick a different variation so maybe go that for three or four get really good at those get strong in those and you'll actually probably build the muscle at the same speed if not quicker because you won't be as exhausted and you have better quality output in it uh, and then the better quality of the movements and the better quality weight you're doing uh, the more muscle you'll gain so the other side on this tangent uh, and the main actual purpose of this four minutes in was a lot of people like to train to failure um, on their bodybuilding exercise to exhaust the muscles that is a very good approach but I think on the exercise selection it is a poor choice so a lot of people are going to failure on things like a bench press which is a free weight movement um, free weights are really good however it so it's things like a barbell bench press deadlift or squat I think training to failure on is a very poor idea because one you're ingraining really poor motor patterns so if you have a shit bench press technique um, and you constantly do that for say hundreds of reps over a, a month so thousands over a year you're going to hurt something uh, whether it's in one year two years six months it doesn't matter if you're moving it poorly because you're constantly fatiguing it and ingraining that poor pattern 
it's going to bite you in the ass. So instead, I would suggest for those type of movements, so again, your free weight squat, um, deadlift and bench press, where you have those variables when you get tired, your shoulders might roll out and coming down awkwardly. I'd suggest going to movement fatigue instead on those because it is more complex. So instead keeping the form right, loading up the weight uh, as you can and progressively strengthening it, but loading it up until maybe on that last rep, maybe then your shoulder rolls out. That's when you stop, okay? That's when you rack it and you can either have a breather, try another set and see how that moves. So that's more of a powerlifting principle, but it will apply very well to bodybuilding because the better, more efficient your movement is, the more load you can do, the more load you can do, the more tonnage a workout, the more tonnage each workout, the more muscle um, breakdown there is and the more stimulus you'll get. So really focus on the movement quality on those more complex exercises. Go to failure instead on something like a machine, like a lap pull down, tricep pull down, whatever. Um, dumbbells might be a better option uh, just because you can drop them, you know what I mean? Whereas you can't really drop a barbell on yourself too well. Uh, things like a leg press within reason, obviously if you're doing like 400 kilos on that, it's a bit awkward to go to failure on. Um, or leg extensions or leg curls, you know. Something simple, go to failure on the simple exercises, not on the complex ones. If you go on a complex one, you will damage something a lot quicker. Whereas in this tricep pull down example, I mean, when you go to failure, the, the rope doesn't move or whatever. So you're less likely to damage yourself really anyway food for thought i hope this rainbow helped or if it didn't at least you got to hear my silky voice again <laughs>